I do think this is one of like the few times where Rolex, um, God, was just a jerk. Um, they, they could have done this very, very differently. They, they, and, and it's, it's, they just really muddied the waters on this whole thing. So yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's kind of interesting how they, how they rolled this whole thing out. So we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll get into it. I'm Elizabeth Smith with Oliver Smith Jeweler. I'm here with our director of fine timepieces, Mr. George Reed, and we make watch videos. If you like this video and content, make sure to subscribe so you're notified for more stuff like this. And today we're gonna give you a little bit of a background on the GMT Master II, specifically the Pepsi and the Batman. Two hype names we all yeah. know, but George is gonna share a little bit about the controversy behind these watches <laughs> that we forget about when we just see them on Instagram. All yeah, I, I just think Rolex could have done it better. Um, so uh, long story short, uh, 1950, uh, Rolex comes up with the GMT Master. Um, it was one of the very, very first multiple time zone watches, and it was designed for Pan American pilots when uh, the early, early days of international flight. And it was so you could sleep on your home schedule and, and you wouldn't get too jet lagged, blah, blah, blah. Um, Quick fast forward, mm -hmm. um, around 2005 slash six, um, they came out with the anniversary edition, the 50th anniversary right. GMT Master. It was the first time they did the maxi case. Um, they put a little subtle green hand. They did it in gold with a green dial. It was awesome. the first ceramic bezel, mm -hmm. GMT. So a real big deal there. Um, also one of my favorite. Is watches. that when they first started doing green as the anniversary too? No, that's okay. been historically. Um, it's close to the beginning of that. Um, it was really. Gosh, it might have been around that time too, because it was with the uh, Kermit. So that was mm -hmm. two thousand three. So okay. that was probably the first real connection there, the first 50th anniversary piece, but yeah, it, it, around there. Um, fast forward a few years, right around um, 2012, they came out with their first uh, dual colored ceramic bezel in the Batman. Party bezel. Really, really big deal, um, incredibly hard to make. A few years after that, they finally did the watch we wanted them to do, they did the Pepsi. But it was incredibly hard to do the red blue bezel. So they released it in white gold. That was the very, very first version, and it was on an oyster bracelet. More expensive because it's hard to make? They were hoping to tamp down um, desire for it. Yeah, um, I, I want to say it was $40,000 when it first came out. Um, exorbitantly expensive. Yeah. Um, and, and it was, uh, if you saw it, you were like, oh, wow, you know, that, guy's, that guy's got the watch. Fast forward a few years. They come out with the stainless steel version, right? And everybody who spent the forty thousand on on the first version went really, yes. you, you, <laughs> but the tell was they did it on the Jubilee. Okay. So if you saw it on Jubilee, it was stainless steel. If you saw it on Oyster, it was the white gold. And to me, this was historically appropriate. Um, a lot of the watches I know as Pepsi's came from the Vietnam era, mm -hmm. and they mostly came off of Pilot's wrist, and they mostly were on the Jubilee bracelet. Jubilee, right. Yes, jangly Jubilee, all beat up. Yeah, and, uh, oh, they come in so the guy, It was like his only watch, you know? And I was always jealous of that because I've never been a guy who can only have one watch. So that was all well and good. Fast forward to modern, fast forward to now. They come out with a version two of the Batman. Um, affection known as the Batgirl, because mm -hmm. it's on Jubilee. Right. Maybe a little more feminine. Either way, everybody loves it. Great watch. And, and a few internal differences. Upgrade. So Upgrade. now you have Gen 1, Gen 2 of Batman. Yeah. And then you have the white gold and the stainless steel and the Pepsi. Okay. So now, just a few years ago, and forgive me, um, a few years ago, it could have been more than that. Um, COVID kind of messes up my, my timelines. Um, now, when you get the stainless steel Pepsi, you can get it on a stainless steel oyster bracelet. Yeah. Just, just completely muddying the waters. Um, the white gold people remember. Yeah, the white, and, and it's funny, because if you know watches really well, you can see the difference in white gold to steel. There is a color difference. Yes. Of course, there's a weight difference. There's even, if you're really sharp-eyed, there's even a difference different color in the bezel. Um, so it, it's subtle, but it's there. But man, if you spent the 40,000 and bought that first white gold one, you're yeah. just steaming now. Um, and it's funny because at this point, market wise, I don't know where this is all going to land. Right. Yeah. What do you think future wise? Uh, it, it, like? It's really hard to say. Yeah. So now you have like Gen 1, Gen 2 Batman, Gen 1, Gen 2 uh, uh, of the Pepsis. I still like this version best. I like I like my Batman on Oyster um, and I like my Pepsi on Jubilee. Steel. It's steel. Steel, steel. Um, man, I, 
I wouldn't mind, like if I had the money to do it, grabbing a white gold and just throwing it into a safe and seeing what happens. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You know, um, is it a bet? I don't know. But um, but it's a, it's a really, really cool watch, and I hope it doesn't get, get lost to obscurity because of all the muddied water. Yeah, and all the changes to it. What do you think they're going to come out with anything in the future? Uh, well, so they came out with their latest GMT, which um, I'm calling the Riddler. Yeah. Because it, it's 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 We tried to get that green, to take off. And, and, yeah. And it's just, I still have a lot of question marks with the watch, hence the Riddler. Um, I have not been hands-on with it. We saw it in Geneva. Yes. Um, my initial reaction was not fantastic, um, but I'm, I'm reserving my final judgment till I get hands-on with it. Um, it it's, it's an interesting watch for sure, and um, definitely a polarizing piece. But um, and if anybody tells you they know what Rolex is going to do, they are lying to you. Um, I've never met a company that was better at, at keeping secrets. So correct. But I think we know that the color, the party dials, if you will, are going to continue yeah. because they've been so popular. Yeah, a absolutely. Um, everybody's betting on a Coke. Um, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, but they did it with Tudor. So I don't know if they're going to move forward with it on, on Rolex. Who knows? Yep. Good point. Well, hopefully this video gave you some more insight to the history behind the Pepsi and the Batman. Thank you, George. Make sure to subscribe to be alerted for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.